Study. Supervolcano eruption is Yellowstone's least immediate threat. Despite an explosive summer in Yellowstone National Park, marked by eruptions of thermal features that shattered boardwalks and sent visitors fleeing from eruptions of black water, mud and rock, a new study provides some reassurance. Researchers have confirmed that the park's famed supervolcano is unlikely to erupt anytime soon. According to an analysis published last week in the journal Nature, although a large amount of magma resides beneath the Yellowstone caldera, it is stored in small, discrete pockets rather than in a flowing reservoir, making a major eruption less likely. To Michael Poland, the lead scientist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, the findings are hardly surprising. We've known from seismic imaging that the magmatic system is largely solid, he said. The Yellowstone system is one that has been stagnant for a long time. The volcano's largest eruption, which earned it the nickname Supervolcano, occurred 2.1 million years ago. According to the United States Geological Survey, the volcano has released so much magma from its underground reservoir that the land above it has collapsed into the magma chamber, forming a massive depression larger than the state of Rhode Island. This massive crater, known as a caldera, is about 50 miles, 80 kilometers, long, 40 miles, 65 kilometers, wide, and hundreds of feet, 100 meters, deep, extending from the outside of the park to its central area, according to the USGS. Since its formation, the caldera has experienced relatively limited volcanic activity. The most recent rhyolite lava flow occurred about 70,000 years ago, and since the last major eruption that formed the caldera 631,000 years ago, there have been about 80 mostly non-explosive eruptions, according to the USGS. Poland says that for the volcano to erupt again, Yellowstone's magmatic system would need to undergo significant rejuvenation, likely driven by the heat energy from magma intrusion into the current stagnant magma body. Now, the good news is that such an event would be accompanied by a whole host of changes. We're going to see seismicity, we're going to see very intense ground deformation and changes in thermal emissions and gas emissions, he said. While the exact timetable for such rejuvenation remains uncertain, Poland estimated that it would likely take at least decades, and, more realistically, centuries to millennia, to trigger an eruption. We're probably going to see very abundant activity for quite a long time before we have an eruption, he said. While research confirms that Yellowstone's magma is more dense than liquid, Poland stressed the need to focus on the park's more immediate risks and dangers rather than fixating on the dormant volcano. I kind of hope that it doesn't become a clickbait story, he said. There's a different set of dangers and that's one of the things that bothers me about the whole storyline that Yellowstone is going to erupt and wipe out humanity because it ignores the most likely thing to happen and that's what happened in July, the Biscuit Basin eruption, or a very strong earthquake, like the one in 1959.